Parias, good afternoon, buenas tardes. Um, my name is uh, Fidel Moreno, Fidel Moreno, and um, on my mother's side, I'm Huichol and uh, Mexican. On my dad's side, I'm Yaqui, Chichimeca Mexican. Uh, my um, Huichol name is Mieleme, which means red paint, red face, actually is what it means, literally. And um, one of the things I know is that it's very powerful to come together. We look at each other and we are reflections of each other on a lot of levels. We're going to sing our four songs. And these are Native American church songs. And it's really interesting, the instruments that we're going to use. The instruments that we're going to use actually came at the turn of the century when Native people were relocated to reservations. And it was... Uh, against the law that made it a federal law to um, to take away or they made it a federal law to not be able to practice a native traditional ceremony so they took away all their traditional drums their pipes uh, <laughs> spiritual paraphernalia and so native people being native people they adapted and they turned um, the bow into a staff and their arrows into um, a gourd. And these, this bow and arrow was used to um, defend themselves against enemies, but also to provide food, deer, buffalo, hunting in their hunting. And then they took every family, every family was given a, uh, a kettle. Every woman head of the family was given a kettle to cook uh, the, the beef, rations of beef, hardtack that the government gave them. And the native people found a way to turn it into a drum. It's called a water drum. Anyway, so... These weapons, when you talk about, I heard it said one time, turning swords into plowshares. That's what the native people did with these, this understanding and this way of life. And it's the only ceremony that I know of where native people and non-Indian people can pray together all night long. So it's the only place where, non, where, I, can, where I, I realized these were descendants of people who were killing each other 120 years ago and they were sitting together praying this is like the American flag and um, is there a veteran here is there a veteran could you come up please I have four nephew I have one niece and three nephews one came back from Afghanistan three came back from Iraq and um, <coughs> Myself, I support this government. I love this country. Mexico is part of North America. But people don't see it that way for a lot of reasons. But I put this flag together today, and I was looking at it while I was praying. And I was thinking about the red nations, indigenous people, and the people that come from European descendancy, that red and that white together, living together on this beautiful land. And then these stars representing all of our ancestors, the blue, that sky, dark sky at night. So I was thinking about that and I started to put it together. And when I looked at it, I realized that it was upside down. And then I realized that this is what they do when they want to let someone know that there's distress. There's help needed. So I was thinking about that. And I was thinking, this is the way that God touched my mind. So anyway, I want to ask this gentleman over here to hold this. This uh, gentleman right here. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, and uh, Sing. Circle time. <laughs> Only Jin San can get away with that. <laughs>
Everybody please try and sing with us. Father God, Divine Mother, in all the names of the saints, in all the work of the sages, teachers, leaders, I ask you to bring your holy ones, holy angels, holy spirits, healing angels, angels of peace, joy, love, compassion. Touch our minds, touch our hearts, bless our children, bless our elders, bless our warriors, bless our leaders. Give them good thoughts, give them understanding, give them wisdom, give them courage to make a different choice for our families, the generations to come, our earth, our precious water, our precious wind, our precious light, our precious night. I say thank you for everything that you've given us at this time. All my relations, aho medakuyasin. 